Good morning guys. Okay, I am rosy cheeked because it is super warm in my car right now. You guys are on my dashboard, which is why the camera is so wiggly because I have you on like on a stand so that I can drive. Um, but anyways, we are on our way to go and visit my aunt who lives like two and a half hours um, north of where I live. Um, and I'm in the middle, literally quite literally in the middle of nowhere right now. Um, but I am gonna go hang out with her for the day um, and leave around like two, it's like 10 o'clock right now. I just have to make sure I leave by like two, 2.30 so that I'm back in time to pick up Kaya. But today is a big day because I am picking up a kitten from my aunt and I'm super excited. Um, if you guys don't know, like we've kind of been planning this for a while. Um, Kaya is a cat lady. She's a cat person. Um, loves cats. Absolutely loves cats. And she's been begging for a cat for like, like three years. Ever since she could talk, she's been like begging for a cat. And we finally decided that we were ready to get her one. So anyway, that is what I'm doing today out in the middle of nowhere in Minnesota. And I am, my jeans are so red. I had the heat set to like 85 degrees in my vehicle because it is 19 degrees today in Minnesota. 19 degrees in October, so cold. So anyway, I've got all of the snacks packed. I've got all of the things ready to go so that this is a smooth trip with Riker. So I've talked to you guys about this before, but I absolutely love using Blue Ellie's products for um, on the go. So um, here in a second when I stop to get gas, I'm going to show you guys what um, I pack for like a typical road trip with Riker. And like I said, I use the Blue Ellie products, like love their like canisters and then they have little bento boxes. And this time I'm using um, like a little lunch bag from them. I use their little snack pouches to do um, like Cheetos, Cheerios, like all of um, the kids' favorite snacks, animal crackers, um, goldfish. I just put their favorite snacks inside those snack pouches and they're super helpful. So anyway, um, I am going to jam out to a little bit of music here and then when I stop for gas, I will show you guys my little snack setup that I have for Riker um, in the Blue Ellie lunchbox. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they Good morning! Okay, things got a little bit crazy when I was in the car yesterday, so I did not record anymore. But I wanted to show you guys really quick. So, um, this is the Blue Ellie lunchbox. I bring this with me on all of my road trips, um, and they come with these um, like freezer packs that you can toss into the uh, into the freezer. And I like to keep my most favorite thing to keep in here is the applesauce packet. Um, because the kids just go through them so fast and it's one of our most favorite things to like take on the road with us. Sorry, the kids have like decided that they're gonna start watching Christmas movies, so that's what's going on in the background. Um, and then there's also this nice little like netting area too if you don't wanna set things directly on top of the freezer pack or you can keep the freezer pack in here too, just like so. Um, but yeah, I keep my applesauce packets in here, my reusable ones um, that I've talked to you guys about before and then on the top, what I like to do is I like to keep, especially for road trips, I like to keep 
um, a bunch of snacks in the top compartment and I like to use the snack pouches from Blue Ellie. I've showed you guys those before. Um, and I have two things of Cheerios right now that are in the vehicle. So in this top portion, it's emptied out now obviously because um, Riker ate all of the snacks from yesterday. But I just keep like pretzels or animal crackers or goldfish, um, whatever doesn't need to be like refrigerated, I will keep in the top portion. I just toss that into the passenger seat when I am going on road trips because then I can quickly like grab like an applesauce or his um, like animal crackers or whatever it is or maybe like his drink. I have have a like normal bottle with which has like we have almond milk in there um, and I like to put that on the bottom because he likes his milk nice and cold um, and his baba fits perfectly into the bottom of the blue Ellie lunchbox but anyways they're just my staples you guys have heard me talk about them quite a few times so highly recommend I will have them linked down below for you guys and you can use my coupon code if you want to get a little bit of a discount on them so again check them out in the description box down below all right I also okay so after we got home last night I oh my gosh it was just pure insanity and I wanted to like finish recording this video but I also wanted to like thoroughly absorb my time like with the kids and like their new kitty. I did get Kaya's reaction on film and like tried to get it and she literally stayed up all night. She was so excited. She stayed up all night with her new kitten and she slept in our bed with the kitten because I just, I don't know how I want to figure that out. Because this room was really messy and I need to just pick it up before I um, have the cat start sleeping in their room and I'm trying to like I'm like this is like one of our first times with a kitten like I have always had dogs I'm not like a huge like I don't know what I'm doing with a cat I love all animals but I just don't know what I'm doing so I reached out to a few of my friends who have cats and I'm like okay like what do I need to do like when I'm getting ready for a new cat in the house um and he's just the sweetest so I can't wait to show him to you guys I'm sure you got like little blips already um but we have this like corner set up for him like a kitty playpen is what I was recommended um and I got him a big litter box um because he was an outdoor cat they had litter boxes but they were outdoor cats um so I'm sure he went potty in the dirt as well um but I got him a big litter box I got him like cute kitty bowls from home goods um and then I have like a little kennel set up in the corner with like a blanket and he loves to jump into his little room. He'll jump in and out of it, but it's just his little space for now. Um, and we named him Charlie. We named him Charlie, and he is a long-haired black kitten. Um, and we adopted him from my aunt. Um, she lives up north, and she had a ton of little farm kitties. So is he is he sleeping? Yes, is he sleeping? So anyway, that is where we got him from. Is from my aunt um, in northern Minnesota. It was. A really fun day trip that's where I went it was like two two hours um, north of where I live so me and Riker did a road trip yesterday while Kaya was at preschool and we surprised her with it at the end of the day so and we had a super awesome day hanging out with my aunt just like the most amazing day I love days with family like we always like to craft in my family like we like to do crafts together so she sent me home with a craft, she sent me home with a meatloaf and a plant and like a chair for the kids and it was so much fun. It's just like those days are the best and they fill my heart so much. So anyway, all right, without further ado, I'm going to introduce you guys to this cute little kitty. Okay, so this is the little guy. He's literally the world's calmest cat yes. ever. His yep, his name is Charlie and he is like three months old. He's like 12 weeks old. Um, he's honestly just the sweetest cat and it, like acclimated so well right away. I haven't heard a peep out of him and he's a little purr machine and the kids are so good with him and he's so good with the kids. Like loves to snuggle them. He's so good. So after he's acclimated here the first few days then I will start introducing him to the dogs. We're trying to, at night anyways, trying to keep them in separate rooms um, and during the day I just let the dogs run around outside. Um, I'm just like slowly going to get them introduced and I would like to set up like the mechanical room as his little space before I let the dogs come in because you know how dogs are with cat litter. They just love to like eat the clumps. So anyway, this is our new little Byland household family member, Charlie, and he's just the sweetest little bean. We love him so much already. And he's like, he's just so perfect for the house. He's he, he's just so perfect for us and for the kids and for our family. He's the most perfect fit. I can't wait to see him grow up to be a large lion. And big, beautiful lion. I want to snuggle him. Say like that. 
Oh, he'll be so cute when he's big too. He'll have long, floofy hair. He's a long and floofy hair. Okay, I burnt myself like super bad when I was curling my hair this morning. I did it at the dining table and was not looking. Oh my gosh, that is so bad. That's gonna bliss drop real nice. Um, okay, I am going to get ready to record my Christmas. Um, oh, the mama wrinkles are real. Okay, I am going to end this video there because we have so many other things that we are going to be sharing with you guys this week. I'm so pumped. I am um, just getting ready to record my Christmas plan with me and decor haul for 2020. I'm so excited to like finally sit down and reveal that to you guys. I will be uploading that later on today for you as well. So stay tuned for that plan with me. So by the time you guys are seeing this video, you've already seen my plan with me and I hope you guys are enjoying the Christmas videos so far. I know it's so early in the year to be releasing those videos, but I try and get them out early so that I can give you guys all of the ideas and all of the inspiration. So. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this day in the life and the announcement of our new little family member. And I will see you in a couple days for another really fun video. Okay, bye, guys.